Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll do this sum in isometric. Front view and top view is given. See this. And if you see front view has only one part, top view has two part. So we'll start with front view. Origin right side is the length 30, 30, 30. 90 will go on right side. Height is 70. And width is 60. So first we will draw layout. After drawing layout, I'll draw front view. In that also, part 1. So I'll take height 20. I'll extend the line. This is 30. Then I'll go down straight. Then I'll go down by 16. Then I will join this. Then from here, I'll take 60. This is also 60. This point also. So all the points will take behind by 60, 60, 60. And we'll join this slope. So whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. With that concept, I can draw directly straight line or I will take 60. Both will be same. See. So you can do any way. Either you go behind by 60 or you drop that line and wherever they intersect, that will be the point. Now here also I'll extend. Now if you see, this is how much? 60. And this is also 60. We need to draw rhombus of 60 because we want to draw radius 30. So I can do that. We already have a rhombus. We'll draw longest diagonal. This point is 1. This I'll mark as midpoint M. This also midpoint M. Now we join 1 to M. Take 1 to M and draw R. Same way, we won't be using point 2, we'll be using point 3 and 3 to M will draw R. Now I can draw the same arc down. How much we have to go down? 20. This is 2 and 4. We don't require that. Because we are drawing only half circle. If we are drawing full circle, then we require 2 and, point, 2 and 4. I have to go down by 20. So I'll take point 1 down by 20. Because height is 20. So this is 1 dash. From 3 I will go down by 20. And here also I will draw tangent. This is 1 dash, 3 dash. Now what we will do from point 1, we will take M and we will draw R. Same way, 3 to M, we will take that radius, we will go down by 20, 3 dash and from there we will draw R. We'll draw tangent and we'll draw this line dark as well as these two lines. See this.
Now we'll draw this slot. So if you see, total is 60. Midpoint I will take and I will take 10, 10 on both the sides. Now after that, if you see they have given 15, 15. So from here you can take 15. And then you go up. And then you can extend line like this. Then again you take midpoint. We have 60. You take midpoint which is 30 and you take 20, 20 on both the sides. See in this case we are drawing it directly. If we get an angle over here, then we have to draw that angle outside and then we have to transfer linear distance. In this case, since we already have distance, we can draw directly. So this way we are done with that slot. Once again, we can see 15. See, we have to mark 15, then go up. And then from here you draw a line. And from here you draw vertical line. Now we need to draw circle. So if you see circle, you take midpoint. 30, 30. You can mark and you can draw center like this. And now we need to mark 15, 15, 15, 15. And now we need to mark 15, 15, 15, 15. Then I will draw a parallel line. So I got rhombus of diameter 30. Rhombus for diameter 30. This is 5, 6, M, M. Again, we'll join 5 to M. 5 to M. This will. This is point number 7. This is point number 8. Now again we'll use 4 center method to draw sub. See this. Phi to M you draw R. And keep the same radius and you would cut it from 6. Then from 7 you take 7 to M and you draw R. and 8 to M. Then you go down by 20. So from point 6, you go down by 20. That is here. This is 6 dash. You take radius 6 to M. This previous radius and you cross check. If you see, we can see depth over here. One more logic what, which you can use over here is diameter is 30 and height is 20. So we can see that depth. So I hope everyone understood this. Thank you.